time it is. She is in the building. Y'all give it up for Miss Bernice Jenkins. Yes. Yeah. Do you want me? Do you love me? You never ever I like that song right there. Did you play, did you play that uh, rock key? You like that song? You know I do that dance, Miss Jenkins? Yeah, I don't know how to do the dance, but I, I saw them do it on the video. <laughs> Janie, did you see it? Yes. Yeah. There's a lot of stuff going on in the church. Everybody needs to pray hard. Pray hard. Pray hard. Pray till your knees fall asleep. <laughs> Great. I got a new t-shirt line out, uh, Rock T. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. What's the name of it? Yeah. I got a new t-shirt. Can I have what? one? Yes, it's called Pray to Your Poop. Uh <laughs> <laughs> I got to get one. I got to get one, Miss Jenny. <laughs> Pray oh, to Your Poop. Church announcement this morning. Govern yourself. Accordingly. Now, Mother Luella Green is asking for prayer after a white neighbor in her senior citizen apartment building called the police on her for animal abuse. <laughs> she seen her swatting at flies on her back porch. Now, she didn't get locked up, but the officer wrote her a ticket for illegally upsetting a Trump supporter. <laughs> Ain't that something? Lord. <laughs> Can't even swat a fly. Can't even swat a fly. <laughs> and y'all know Sister Turnip Seed. <laughs> What's her name? Sister Turnip Seed. <laughs> <laughs> Pray hard for her this morning. You know, her neck is real stiff today because of her twin sons, uh. Davion and Quavion. <laughs> and you know, both of them on drugs. Oh, Lord. And they stole all the pillows <laughs> out of her house and sold them at the barber shop. And they also got caught breaking into the church kitchen last night trying to steal a baked Cornish hen and two crock pots full of oxtails and cabbage. Oh, they should have called me. <laughs> and that's why she got her stiff neck this morning. Oh, it's hard to sleep without a pillow. <laughs> Homegoing service for 89-year-old Deacon Milo Cheatham. <laughs> gonna be hell sad. Cheat him. You know Milo cheat him. <laughs> you said her name. You just say Milo cheat him. Oh, why you gotta say it so hard, Miss Chica? <laughs> oh, wasn't no good. Oh, no. <laughs> he been suffering from migraine headaches, <laughs> hay fever. <laughs> Low blood pressure, <laughs> high blood pressure, <laughs> more hay fever, <laughs> polio, <laughs> holo, <laughs> Alzheimer's, uh -uh. pink eye, <laughs> green eye, uh -uh. yellow eye, <laughs> yeah. acid reflux, uh -uh. <laughs> dislocated shoulders. <laughs> Liver disease. Lord. Strep throat. Strep throat. Hepatitis H. Hepatitis C. Cell seeker. Stop it. And hepatitis A. That ain't what killed him. What killed him? He was called home to glory shopping at Sam's Club when he reached up too high to get a 20 pound jar of sweet relish. <laughs> and it fell and hit him in the head, and that's what killed him. Oh, I'll call you out of my The Ricky Smiley Morning Show. I need everybody to put their hands together for everybody's favorite grandmother. One time for Miss Bernie Jenkins. Woo! I love to praise him. Yes, I do. I love to praise his name. I love to praise him. Yes.
yes, I do. I love to praise his name. I love to praise his name. Yes, I do. I love to praise his name. I'm telling you, I love to praise his holy well, he's my rock. He's my rock. Come on, Brat. My rock, my soul, and she. Well, he's a wheel. He's my wheel. In the middle. In the middle of the wheel. Well, no, he never. No, he never. Never, never. never let me fall. He's just a jewel. He's just a jewel. <laughs> that I. <laughs> 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 Good morning, Janie. Congratulations to our oldest deacon, Willie Charles Grimes, who is 91. And his roommate for the past 32 years, Mr. Herman, who just turned 84. And they officially came out of the closet last week. And said so they've been they planning to get married now that it's legal. <sighs> Did you hear that, Jamie? It's a dusty closet. Charles <laughs> Willie Charles Grimes and Mr. Herman. <laughs> and they've been trying to keep it a secret. Mm -hmm. But Annie Banks, you know Annie Banks. <laughs> She has seen him out at Golden Corral. <laughs> That's what it be. <laughs> and Mr. Herman was feeding Willie Charles some beets salad off his fork. Oh, this one. And they had to come out after she started telling folks what she had seen. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Pray hard for Sister Cresha Watts, whose son Marcus got put out of vacation Bible school last week and can't come back. You know, he only nine, Janie, but they said he got Bipolar and anger issues. <laughs> and he got put out after he let loose five pit bull puppies in the church. <laughs> Man. In the church band when the members of the <laughs> when the <laughs> You let him loose in the van. <laughs> oh my God. And the members of the Senior Citizen Jubilee Choir had loaded up. And four of them got nipped up pretty good on their legs and ankles. <laughs> Before they could get up. <laughs> Before they could get out the emergency doors in the back. <laughs> So his little bad ass can't come back to vacation Bible school. <laughs> home, home going service on Saturday. But you know Elder Jesse Hicks. Yeah. Who would have turned 88 on Friday. And he was in in good health. But he was real skinny, though. <laughs> His great-grandkids thought it would be funny to tie 100 Happy Father's Day balloons on his arms and legs while he was asleep out on his porch. And the wind caught the balloons and he... The, 
the wind caught the balloons and he floated up <laughs> and got hit in a mid-air collision with a news helicopter. <laughs> <laughs> the smiling morning. Hey, morning show, nine minutes before the top of the hour. Ladies and gentlemen, can y'all give it up for Miss Bernice Jenkins in the building? Yeah. You man it. church kitchen <laughs> and stole all <laughs> stole all the food from the motherboard <laughs> the anniversary dinner the missing item include a big bowl of potato salad <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Two pounds, a uh, uh, two pound, uh, a swirl ham. <laughs> three, three fried Cornish hens. <laughs> a skillet of cornbread. <laughs> two pounds of butter beans. <laughs> a crock pot full of pig feet. <laughs> And a red velvet cake. <laughs> and we think that is more than one person involved. Uh -oh. You have any information, call the church office. Auditions for the Gospel Stage made play production Black Panther <laughs> and the Disciples will be held on Saturday at 2 p.m. So all real dark skinned members <laughs> that can pass for a native Wakanda. <laughs> they want you in the trial, and you, you have to have an S curl or push wave. <laughs> Please wrench it out. Reach. <laughs> and let your hair get real dry and nappy before you show up. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Homegoing services for Deacon Cleon Clemens. You know Deacon Cleon Clemens. That's gonna be on Monday. You know he was 98. I almost made it to 100. I almost made it. And he had been a deacon since 1971. Oh, damn. Wow. My goodness. And he has suffered from a receding hairline, <laughs> sensitive gums, <laughs> ulcers, <laughs> chronic moist eardrums, <laughs> chronic moist eardrums, rickets, <laughs> hair lice. Oh my goodness. Tanners. <laughs> Andrew. <laughs> but that ain't what killed him. Oh, God. 
But got him one, you know, he was at his great grandson's fifth birthday party and he had climbed up in the bouncy house. Uh -huh. <laughs> and the children got in the jumping so hard his dentures came loose and he swallowed them and choked to death. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute after the top of the hour, ladies and gentlemen, Miss Bernice Jenkins is in the building. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Jenkins. You know this weather ain't getting no better. <laughs> Not at all. Everybody around here talking about uh, today's date is uh, 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 April the 18th. That's a lie. What day is it really? January the 96th. That's what it is. That's what it feel like. It don't feel like it's coming. We don't have some. <laughs> Today's date is January the 96th. <laughs> Hell. <laughs> People just take out a uh, 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 march. Take it out. It don't count no more. <laughs> it used to get warm in March back in the day. Then it Janie. Yeah. <laughs> so mark that on your calendar. January the 96th. <laughs> Here's our church announcement this morning. Govern yourself. Accordingly. Govern yourself. Accordingly. Now, the pastor is asking all members to stop buying Starbucks coffee for the next two months till they treat black people right. <laughs> and he said, take all that money you saved and put it in the collection plate. Mm. And now y'all still might see, now you still might see him drinking Starbucks in the morning before he preach, but he said that uh, uh, he don't have to put nothing in the plate and y'all need to stay out of his business. Do that make any sense? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, keep it moving. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever parked a dark green 1983 Buick LeSabre in the spot next to the pastor, please go out to your car. You left a cat in there. <laughs> <laughs> and then cracked the wonder, and now it done died. Oh, oh from man. From all of the heat. Ooh. And there's a whole bunch of crows and vultures sitting on the roof <laughs> trying to get in that heat. <laughs> if you, even if you don't move the car, just let the window down where they can get it and go. <laughs> now, we might have another member going to the upper room. Uh-oh, who is that? Deacon Cleotis Brinson. You know him, Janie? Yeah! He's in the ICU right now. And he's 94 and been suffering from a paralyzed scrotum. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Vein cramps, <laughs> stiff shoulder muscles, <laughs> sickle cell diabetes type 9, <laughs> and forehead tightness. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> and he had got both of his legs replaced last month because he had the gout. <laughs> but one of them new legs was shorter than the other one. <laughs> and he was climbing a ladder to clean out his gutters and flipped over and landed head first on his front porch. <laughs> so we don't know if he's going to make it, but good thing he got good insurance with Geico. <laughs> That be good. I'll check it out and have a blessed morning. I'll call you later, Jane. <laughs> it's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. She has arrived. Miss Bernice Jenkins in the building. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. That's good enough for me. Oh, give me that old time 
time religion. Give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. It's good enough for me. <laughs> Did y'all sing that at your grandmama church, Brad? Yes. Oh, enough, give me that old yes. time religion. Yes, Lord. Yeah, Reverend Shuttlesworth, you can sing that. <laughs> no, that song right there. Give me that old. Oh, Tanchani, good morning. Hey, good morning. Is yes, our church announcement this morning, govern yourself? Accordingly. Accordingly. Govern yourself. Accordingly. Accordingly. All parents that have overweight children <laughs> between 5 and 10 years old that don't have acting talent can still <laughs> participate in the Easter egg play. <laughs> We need at least 12 big kids to dress up as Easter eggs and stand off to the side <laughs> while the children with actual talent do all the speaking roles. <laughs> Y'all need to see Sister Pauline Stewart immediately following service to sign them up. That remind me of a song. Sign me up. For the Christian Jubilee, write my name on the road. Whoa, I can't change. I've been changed since the Lord has lived at me. I wanna be, wanna be ready when Jesus comes. Sign me up. Yes. <laughs> You signed up, Brad? Signed up. You signed up, Joseph? Signed up. Jenny, you signed up? I don't know, Brad. Well, up. sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> the church, the church is asking, <laughs> the church is asking all saints to pray hard for the children of Deacon Turnipseed. <laughs> He had been released from singing in the youth choir. <laughs> and all three of them was born without thumbs. <laughs> and they be messing, they be messing the other members up because they can't snap their fingers to keep time. <laughs> He must have slept with his cousin because one of them's a waterhead baby. <laughs> Ain't that what happens when you sleep with your family, Janie? Oh, oh. You have a waterhead baby. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> condolences, condolences, condolences to the family of Alvin Green. You know Alvin Green, Janie. Yeah. Who just turned 93 on last Thursday. <laughs> and he was a World War II vet that had suffered from post-traumatic stress disorder. <laughs> Headaches. Earaches. <laughs> backaches. <laughs> stomach ache. <laughs> dislocated ankle. <laughs> Food poisoning, <laughs> tennis elbow hypothermia, <laughs> hepatitis D, oh, no. pink eye, <laughs> sinus infection, <laughs> hay fever, oh. blood cot, <laughs> measles, <laughs> chicken pot, <laughs> vertigo, <laughs> and Lyme disease. Oh. That ain't what killed him. What killed him? Wait, I read it wrong. I read it wrong. It says here that all of that killed him. But the family said right before he passed, he did manage to save 15% on car insurance by switching to Geico. <laughs> <laughs>
Gabriel, ladies and gentlemen, can y'all please clap your hands for Miss Bernice Jenkins? Yeah. He died on a hill far away, stood an old rugged cross through the end of the I know on that one, Jane. <laughs> she has to sing these songs because Easter is coming. Yes. <laughs> on a hill far away. Yes. Stood and old. Yes. Rugged cross. All right. <laughs> Ooh, there uh -huh. was a time I know when I in the book of heaven that all account was settled. Long ago, long ago, down on my knees, long ago, I settled it all, and the old account was settled long ago, hallelujah, and the record lived today. Oh, he washed my sins away, and the old account was settled long ago. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> man, man. <laughs> All women, all women competing in the Easter Sunday church hat competition are warned that you will be tested for performance enhancing drugs. Folks believe that's how 2017 winner. 93-year-old mother Blondie Goggins <laughs> was able to hold her neck straight <laughs> and, walk <laughs> and walk across the floor with that 28-pound butterball turkey hat <laughs> complete with stuffing and glazed pineapples last year. <laughs> Janice, you had a whole bottle of ball turkey on her hat. <laughs> pray hard, pray hard, pray hard for Deacon Earl Satterwhite. You know him, Janie? Yes. Yeah. He's 78. Ooh. And he's overweight. Oh. With high blood pressure and he got the sugar. Oh. <laughs> sugar. And his grandkids had ordered him a Black Panther costume <laughs> for him to wear to the theater. But it was too tight and he was sweating. <laughs> and, got <laughs> and got real lightheaded and passed out during the opening credits. <laughs> It's a real, it's a real suit. A real black panther suit. And got to try to go back tonight wearing regular clothes. <laughs> so y'all pray hard for Deacon Earl Satterwhite who passed out at the movies. <laughs> Homegoing arrangements made this morning for Brother Dedrick Turner. Ooh. <laughs> Brother Dedrick Turner, that's Mother Maddie Turner's oldest son. <laughs> and he was 44 <laughs> and had been suffering from sinus headaches, mm. leaking eardrums, <laughs> oh, sneezing and carrying on, oh, Lord. kidney stones. <laughs> but that ain't what killed him, Jake. <laughs> what took him out was he was dating a sex doll robot. <laughs> and, and he had thought that she was so real, he could take a bubble bath with her. <laughs> and when he slid down in the tub with her and flipped that switch on, he said, baby, that water lit up. <laughs> and he fried himself like some church's chicken. <laughs> It's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show.
for the show 12 minutes after the top of the hour. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all know what time it is. Miss Bernice Jenkins has a hey, man, hey, man, hey, man, just another day. That the lot has kept me. Just another day that the Lord has kept me. Sing it. Yes, he kept me, woke me up this morning. Slid me in my house shoes. <laughs> Blew me into the bathroom. <laughs> Brought me a rack to wash my face. <laughs> And set my feet on solid ground. All right now. <laughs> Made my bed up with both of my working arms. Because <laughs> a lot of folks woke up this morning and their arms wasn't working. Yeah, all right. A lot of them woke up this morning and their legs wasn't working. Yeah. Oh, Lord. But he let me pull the cover up over my shoulder last night. <laughs> Now, here's your church announcement this morning. Govern yourself. Accordingly. Govern yourself. Accordingly. All members are reminded that the Easter egg hunt will be held on Saturday, <laughs> March the 31st, instead of the usual Easter, Easter Sunday. Last year, we did it between the sunrise service and the 1045 service. And baby, y'all had eight them board eggs. <laughs> and was far up in that church. <laughs> so mad the pastor had an asthma attack. <laughs> and the, the choir had to be evacuated. The smoke detector was going out. The fire department came. It was just bad. <laughs> well, we, we can have an Easter egg hunt, but don't eat them before the service. <laughs> <laughs> they said the Holy Ghost wouldn't come up in there that Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was good. That service was good and funny. <laughs> In preparation for the Easter Sunday uh, motherboard brunch. You coming to that, Janie? Yeah. The Easter Sunday motherboard brunch. The kitchen in the fellowship hall <laughs> need to be restocked. <laughs> so the pastor is asking all members with a Sam's Club card, <laughs> EBT cards, <laughs> and WIC vouchers. <laughs> To please see Deacon Parham immediately. Immediately. Following, following morning worship. So bring your EBT card, <laughs> your wig vouchers, <laughs> and your Sam Club. <laughs> and no man home somebody got a Costco. Bring it. <laughs> The funeral arrangements are being made for Sister Helena Turner. She's some kind of y'all rock tea. <laughs> no, I don't know her. Ain't you a Turner? I'm a Turner. <laughs> <laughs> she was our head usher oh, for the past 24 years. You know Helena Turner, Janie. Janie. <laughs> You know Helena Turner, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she died. <laughs> she was 83 years old. Oh. Like and uh, she went went to check in with God on Tuesday. Oh, she did both, huh? Yeah. She had gout. Oh, no. Gangrene. 
gallstones. Green game. Stones gone. Liver spots. Spots on the liver. Hay fever. But that ain't what killed her. What killed her? She was called home when she was held. <laughs> she was called home <laughs> when she had held the back door to keep some teenagers from walking around doing altar call. And they ran, they ran around the side door to the sanctuary and she tried to dive over a pew to grab the door handle. <laughs> and landed on her neck and broke it. Oh, oh Jesus. Yeah, that, was, that was rough one now. That was rough. When I saw that, I said, she gone. She don't make it from now. <laughs> told her don't bother them hoodlums. <laughs> what you say? I told her don't bother them hoodlums. Let them know. Let them know. <laughs> All right, Jane, I'll call you tomorrow. <laughs> it's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Ricky Smiley Morning Show, 11 minutes before the top of the hour. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Bernice Jenkins has arrived. I'm going to tell you how good God's been. <laughs> well. Oh, I'm going to tell you how good God's been. <laughs> hey. uh, the weather started getting rough. Hey. The tiny <laughs> ship was long. If it wasn't for the fearless crew, the middle <laughs> would be lost. I said the love boat. <laughs> Exciting and brand new. Talking <laughs> about the love boat. Okay. Hey, oh. He's coming back from you. Hey, now we're up in the big deep. <laughs> Getting our certain Well, as long as I got you oh, and sweet Jesus, Jesus. you ain't Jesus. seen nothing well, yet. yet. I'm gonna move it on down. Yeah. <laughs> Watching the asphalt grow. Good times. It's time. With the Lord. (laughs) (laughs) Jamie. Good morning. Good morning. I can't hear you. Uh oh. Let me. Why use that? Why use that? Why can't you? Hang on, Jamie. Yay. Isn't that better? No, that's worse. Worse. You got to figure it out. Turn, turn your phone up. You on your cell phone? No, I'm on my house phone. Don't unplug it. Don't unplug it. <laughs> In honor of Black History Month, can you hear that? I hear you now. Yeah, in honor of Black History Month for the next three Sundays. The oh. first two rows in front of the church are reserved for all the dark-skinned members in the congregation. <laughs> <laughs> we have to do it, Janie. It's Black History Month. Oh. <laughs> I didn't say Brown History Month. And it didn't say light skin history month. It said black history month. <laughs> you got black and you got ashy black. <laughs> now, Janie. Janie. It's going to be a meeting downstairs following service for any women who used to like men, but now they want to be with a woman who look like a man, but who like men who like manly looking women, who like women that ain't a bull down. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you hear that, Jamie? 
<laughs> it's for any women who used to like men but now want to be with a woman who look like a man <laughs> but who like men who like manly looking women <laughs> who like women but ain't a boy now. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Jane, I got some bad news. <laughs> Janie! Janie, are you okay? Are you okay, Janie? I'm trying to get... Oh, Lord, you're killing me this month. A smooth criminal. Right. Oh, and we got sad news. Homegoing service for Deacon Walter Bynum. You know Walter Bynum? Yeah. You know, he had just turned 94. Mm. Uh, well, he had just turned 94. Uh, his funeral going to be this Friday. Uh-huh. And he had a bad case of tongue blisters. Oh, uh, <laughs> Tight scap syndrome. <laughs> Elbow cancer. <laughs> sickle cell. Oh, no. Sickle, sickle. cell, sickle. <laughs> Hay fever, <laughs> kidney stone, <laughs> stones thrown at his kidney. <laughs> but that ain't what killed him. What killed him? He was watching the Super Bowl and he had put a pepperoni hot pocket in the microwave <laughs> and got caught up in the game. And when he opened the door, it exploded in his face and he had a heart attack. He didn't make it. <laughs> Smiley Morning Show, baby. Rookie Smiley Morning Show, 12 minutes before the top of the hour. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, can you please clap your hands and bring it up for Miss Bernice Jenkins? Yeah. yeah. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. And Janie is at the doctor this morning. So we got KK on the phone. All right now. <laughs> is she on the she on the telephone, RT? Yes, I'm here. Thank you. Good morning, KK. <laughs> Good morning, sir. Good morning, Miss Jane. Good morning. And we wanna thank uh uh Aya and Tia for the check that they sent to the Ricky Smiley Foundation. Miss Jenkins, I think you talk about AO and Teo. Ayo and Teo. I knew it was something. <laughs> I don't know none of these children. Now. They just name them anything. <laughs> they, 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 these mamas so trifling and stuff, they naming them after cities. The 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 the, 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 uh, the rapper, the name, his baby, uh, 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 Illinois. Chicago. Chicago West. That's what they name them. <laughs> now they're going to be naming them Bessem. <laughs> they already got them named Savannah. <laughs> then they're going to name them Albany. <laughs> and and, and, and uh, 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 Tyler. <laughs> they got Tyler Perry named after Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Baby's name Oklahoma City. <laughs> St. Louis. Then, then the baby mama crawled town and had another baby and they named that baby East St. Louis. <laughs> <laughs> then you got North Carolina. South <laughs> then they named the baby Virginia. <laughs> it's pitiful. <laughs> they don't put nothing into these names. Nothing. They done named this baby over here after a sticker chewing gum. <laughs> Juicy fruit. <laughs> Here's our church announcement this morning. Govern yourself. Accordingly. The pastor is offering a $40 reward for whoever can tell him which one of these bad teenagers spiked his coffee last Sunday morning with Viagra pills. And he was messed up so bad he couldn't, he couldn't step down from the pulpit. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't step down from the pulpit to shake people's hands after the service. <laughs> he said, he said it cost him $12 to replace the zipper that got broke on his suit pants. <laughs> Starting next Sunday, we asking all the real overweight members 
with S curls <laughs> and excessive neck meat. <laughs> so please pick up a sweat rag from the ushers before coming into the sanctuary. <laughs> the cleaning lady says she's been having a real hard time getting the sweat stains off the crushed velvet on the back of the new pew. <laughs> don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. <laughs> We also will be passing out stay free mini thin to strap on the back of their necks <laughs> to absorb some of that marsh. <laughs> the home going services for Sister Alice Maxwell, oldest son Marlon. You know him, KK? Yeah, I know him. Mm -hmm. That's going to be on Saturday. <laughs> He was only 59, but diagnosed with bad circulation, uh. high blood pressure, uh. low blood pressure, <laughs> good circulation, <laughs> itchy back skin, <laughs> itchy front skin, hard blockage, <laughs> hard shortage, <laughs> dust mites, termites, <laughs> dynamites, <laughs> sickle cell, <laughs> cell sickle. <laughs> Kidney. One good kidney. Foot dandruff. Stop it. Stop it, please. Stop. But that ain't what killed him. What killed him? He ate a bunch of jelly donuts. And that jelly was all on his face. And he walked out on the porch to sit down and got attacked by Burma bees. And they stung him to death. Keep the family lifted up in prayer. <laughs> by night and by day, he's with me all the way. Oh, Jesus, he'll never leave me alone. Since I've been to heaven. And Satan tried to stop me. Oh, he never, he never have left me, left me alone. alone. Well, you know, did y'all sing that one, Brett, when yeah. you were growing up? Yeah, I'm going to forget the words, but we sure did. He would never, never. leave you. Yeah. Or forsake you. Come through, Miss Bernice. Here's our church announcement this morning. Govern yourself. Accordingly. Govern yourself. Accordingly. Now, Mother Sophie Daniels wants to apologize for the naked pictures on her church Facebook page last week. <laughs> And they were supposed to be on a senior citizen dating website. <laughs> but everybody knows she 91 and got confused. <laughs> and some of the teenagers blew the pictures up. Uh-uh. And said it looked like... <laughs> it looked like she had two bald sweet potatoes hanging... <laughs> That is soaking black coffee and squeezed down. <laughs> Baby, when them breasts, I know what you're talking about. And my mind sure look like two balls sweet potatoes. <laughs> It is good to see Brother Eddie Chapman. Y'all know Brother Eddie Chapman? Yeah. Man, good to see him back at church. <laughs> After a long, long 13 year in the state prison. Oh. And he is Deacon Chuck Chapman's oldest boy. Now, he's only 27. He went to jail when he was 13 oh. for shooting two oh. male men. <laughs> and stealing a po time. Yeah, he shot two mailmen <laughs> and he stole a police car. <laughs> right, he robbed a family dollar. <laughs> and breaking ribs, breaking the ribs uh, on a pit bull. <laughs> and he, he set a, he low down, he set a Chick fil A on fire. 
<laughs> and he punched the Salvation Army worker in the face, the one that be out there in front of Walmart ringing the bell. Yeah. Got mad and punched him in the face. <laughs> but his daddy said he is glad that he had found Jesus at an early age. All right now. And was able to come back to church to do some good work. Because he will turn it around. Turn it around. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I feel him on that Salvation Army. <laughs> you already be feeling bad and you come out of Walmart, you're buying stuff that you didn't go in that far. And then you come out there ringing the bell all wrapped up and <laughs> making you feel bad. <laughs> I just... I just wish they'd take that thing. That bell drives me crazy. I be want to throw it down the street. Yeah. And condolences to the family of 94-year-old Deacon Harold Lumpkin. You know him, Janie? Yeah. He was called to sing with the angels Hello. earlier this week. And he was... He was in outstanding health for his age. He ran seven miles every morning. Did 200 push-ups. Wow. Lift weights. Oh, my goodness. Kickbox. <laughs> and still had a full head of jet black hair. What? And 94 years old. <laughs> now, unfortunately, what killed him was he ain't never learned to read. <laughs> and he came home from working, he came home from working out and drunk a full glass of antifreeze that he thought was Gatorade. <laughs> Ricky Smiley Morning Show, baby. Look who just walked into the studio. Can y'all give it up for our favorite grandmama, Miss Bernice Jenkins? Yeah. Miss Robert, 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 Robert. Crackhead, you don't need to play it again. We're running back. Yeah. <laughs> Did you hear me? Yeah, that sounds good, too. Jenny, you hear that song? Yeah. We miss Robert. Break it up. Break it down. Break <laughs> it up. Break it down. <laughs> Get low. Break it up. Get low to the flow like a hog. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> break it up. Break it up. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny, oh, <that> Jenny, you about to turn 80. Yeah. Your birthday coming up at the end of the month. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have a good time. We're going to Club Platinum. All right, now. And we're going to smoke us some reefer. What? 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 <laughs> oh, wow. It's for your glaucoma? Listen, yeah. I ain't never been on the club in my life. Where you going? <laughs> we sure gonna drive down First Avenue and we gonna find a club and we going. <laughs> Take you to the club for your 80th birthday. Oh, Lord, have mercy. You can watch them back it up. I'm gonna be bagging it too, baby. I know it. I know it. <laughs> The, the fifth annual, you know, Janie, the fifth annual talent show is coming up. Yeah. And auditions will be held on next Saturday at noon. Mm -hmm. And we did the best we could to get three celebrity judges to have comments from. And we got the Otis Clemens. <laughs> uh -uh. And you know, he is the ex-husband of gospel... The ex husband of gospel singer Donnie McClurkman's half sister Sherry. <laughs> 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 That's a good and, one. And we got our our Wilhelmina Johnson. <laughs> And who is the play cousin of NBA superstar LeBron James' wife, Savannah, personal assistant. <laughs> <laughs> and we got our uh, uh, Mitchell. Mitchell Bagwell. You know him? Yeah. yeah and he the great uncle to Samuel L. Jackson's stepdaughter, best friend, Tasha. Oh, <laughs> so that's the closest we could get to a celebrity. Y'all tried, though. Yeah.
Now the music minister want all youth musicians to meet on Saturday uh -huh. for a mandatory rehearsal for the pastor anniversary concert. Okay. Attendance is required for all musicians. And the little the little fat boy uh, played a triangle and mother <laughs> and granddaughter, a little little slow granddaughter precious that played a cowbell ain't got to, they ain't got to come to rehearse. Y'all can just show up for the concert. <laughs> you don't need no practice to ring a cowbell <laughs> or a triangle. <laughs> Now you know Sister Bertha Waters. Yeah. A few, a few gonna be on Monday. And she was eighty-seven. Oh. And she was dealing with loose colon pipes. Oh, Jesus. Oh my. Loose colon pipes, <laughs> trembling fingers. <laughs> Dry forehead skin. <laughs> Varicose veins. <laughs> Dandruff. <laughs> In between toe itches. <laughs> this is the pinky toe. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Crotch hair. <laughs> and that ain't what killed her. What, what killed her? She was singing in the choir on the back row <laughs> last Sunday when her choir row touched on a lit cigarette that somebody left up there <laughs> and it caught on fire oh. and brother Bagwell reached back <laughs> and pushed her into the baptismal pool <laughs> to try to put the fire out and she landed on her back <laughs> so she was fat and she drowned before anybody could lift her back up out of there <laughs> It's the Ricky Smiley Morning Show. Just walked into the studio, Miss Bernice J.K. Yeah! yeah. Janie! Yeah! No, I didn't have mercy. <laughs> I went to the grocery store. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Janie, almost, they almost put me in jail. Ow. I didn't have my food stamp card. <laughs> They was trying to take I, you away? They tried, baby, but I played it off. What'd you do? I went back there and I realized I didn't have my food stamp card. I wanted to go ahead and start getting my turkey ready. <laughs> and so I put it up, put it up under my dress. <laughs> and I didn't get you no do? soon as I got up there to the register, it fell out. <laughs> and then the police came. And I looked around and I said, who in the hell threw this damn turkey at me? <laughs> yeah, that, <laughs> I played it on. And I said, who in the hell? I put my hands on my hip and turned around. Who in the hell <laughs> threw this turkey at me and why? Why? Then the police went looking for him. And when they went looking for him, I got on in my car and left. The great escape. Yes, I did, Jamie. I wasn't going to jail. I'm not missing Thanksgiving for nobody. What stole you, man? Piggly Wiggly. <laughs> Yeah, they got all the they got all the turkeys on chains and they got them locked up. Yeah, if you want a turkey, you got to go get a key. You got to unlock it. Oh, 
<laughs> anyway, the pastor wanna the pastor wanna let everybody know that he will no longer hold anybody by the back and dip them in the baptismal pool due to concerns about being accused of sexual harassment. <laughs> Starting this Sunday, he just gonna say the words and you duck under the water by your damn self. <laughs> Congratulations. Congratulations to 79 year old Deacon Grimes. You know him. Yeah. And his roommate Herman, uh, who is 76. <laughs> You know, they officially came out of the closet, Jana. And they was trying to keep it a secret. But Mother Watkins seen them at the men's day dinner. And... <laughs> and, Herman, and Herman was feeding Willie Earl a devil egg from his hand. <laughs> So they had to come out after she started telling folks what she had seen. It's <laughs> <laughs> too old to be sissy. <laughs> team need some new players. All members between 85 and 100 years old need to meet at the gym on Saturday at noon because homegoing services is Friday for the team's point guard, center, and powered forward who all died doing practice on Monday. <laughs> Show.